Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Librarian Agenda. I am Kate, and on this channel, we are working on perfecting our planner and productivity system so we can have our most organized, stress-free lives. We are here today to talk about the Erin Condren Classic Coiled Life Planner and whether or not they are worth purchasing. So if you've been in the planner community for a while, chances are you are very familiar with the Erin Condren brand. But if you are new to planning, or if you're a longtime planner who has been hesitant to buy an ECLP, this video is for you. I went a little crazy with my launch day order. And if there's anything you can count on me for, it is to spend too much money on planners and stationery. So this is great. I can show you everything and then you can make an informed decision without having to spend your money on a planner that won't work for you. So um, I have a planner in each layout and in each design that was launched in May of 2023. These are the planners that are available for 2024. And so I can share them with you. I am an EC customer. I have been for about 10 years, but I am not an affiliate. So what you are going to get here is my honest opinion about whether or not this product The multicolored one is kind of like mermaidy or rainbow. It's like pink and a purple and a blue. It's like very, very pretty. Um, they are an extra cost to get the color coils versus the platinum coils. It's ten dollars more to choose a color. I always choose a color, like so. I just can't see having this beautiful metallic cover with anything but a gold coil. Um, that's me. That's my problem. <laughs> Again, here, the cover came in rose gold. So I bought the coil in rose gold. So yeah, <laughs> that is um, one of the perks. It's a very strong, very sturdy coil. And um, I've never, ever had anything go wrong with one of these coils in all my years of owning Erin Condren Life Planners. So also, um, the paper, the paper is a very thick paper. It's from, um, a brand called Mohawk and they, um, they use an 80 pound paper. It's bleed and ghosting resistant, but not bleed and ghosting proof. And I will show you what I mean. So I do my content planning in this one. And as you can see, my, um, my clear dot markers totally destroyed this paper, completely bled through. You can actually, you can see a little ghosting in the sliding, but it's much better than a lot of the paper you see on the market today. Also, um, the covers, the covers are interchangeable. You can, um, just suit them out, swatch them out to suit your mood. Um, I have a large collection of covers. This is my current life planner and you can get them personalized with your name on them, or you can, um, leave them blank. It's up to you. But a lot of people like the fact that they can switch out the covers. There's also options that are more um, neutral and solid. So if you're in like a professional setting and you don't really want like all this color, like you can, <laughs> you can, uh, go for a solid choice. That's not shiny and won't have these reflections. Um, also people really are into the designs. So I have all these different designs. So this one is inspire. This is a new one from Etta V. And you can see it has the beautiful swoops on the top. This is my work planner. So I'm trying not to show too much stuff here, but very pretty. And then the dashboards in this, this setup look like this. Very nice. This is wildflowers. I have not used this one. I'm actually not really sure what I'm going to use this for. Um, if these come out and it's like Pokemon cards, I got to catch them all. So I have wildflowers for 2024 that I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but very pretty. 
You can see the background has that wide flower design. I got it with the wildflower cover, the little inspirational quotes with these little dashboards, very pretty. And then this one is your ultimate blank slate. This one is called Canvas. And if you are somebody who loves to use a ton of stickers, or if you are somebody who um, wants to be as minimal or as neutral as possible, like this planner was made for you. So two sides of the spectrum, same planner made for you. You can see how neutral it is. So there's also the different layouts. So what you just saw is the vertical layout. So the vertical layout, I think, is the like quintessential classic Erin Condren layout. I don't know if they were the first ones in the game to do the vertical layout, but they may have been one of the first. And um, people love this. I definitely am team vertical. I, I like the vertical more than I like the horizontal. And I really like the versatility of this layout because you can change this to be however you need it to be. So if you need it to be um, morning, noon, night, or task, notes, appointments, you know, whatever you need it to be, it's so versatile. It can work for almost everyone, unless you are somebody who thinks horizontally, which case this is probably gonna be the layout for you. So this is the standard horizontal layout. So you get lines here and an empty box here. So you could do your tasks and then your appointments, or you could do your um, gratitude and then your like affirmation, you know, whatever. So very versatile. And then if you are somebody who like super needs structure or you're somebody who does a lot of time blocking, the hourly layout, this this is going to be what you want so all of these layouts are available in all of the styles so that means that you can get vertical in the inspire or you can get horizontal in the um, canvas you know whatever you want they are they are all interchangeable and that's one of the things that people like about erin condren is that they are super personalized so what they don't necessarily like about the erin condren planners are the prices so each one of these starts at a minimum of $60.50. And then if you add on a metallic cover or you add on a colored coil, it all adds up. So then you're spending like $70 for a planner or over $70 for a planner. And for a lot of people, that price tag is very shocking <laughs> and like totally agree. Very shocking. Um, obviously, I spend it, but it's not for everyone. Like this is my hobby. This is my passion. So this is what I spend my money on. I um, don't have a lot of other vices. Like this is what I spend my money on. But for a lot of people who just want a planner who aren't um, hobbyists or enthusiasts and they just want to be able to organize their lives, that is a very big sticker price. So is it worth it? I mean, they are beautiful, high quality planners. And if you are somebody who is willing and able to invest in your system, then these may be a great option for you. If you are just starting out and you don't know if you're going to like planning, there are some really good dupes for Erin Condren available in some box stores. Like if you go to Target or um, Staples especially, you can find planners that are very similar to this. They won't have the high quality. They won't have the really good coil. They probably won't have the great paper, but they are um, very good substitutes, if, especially if you're just starting out and you're not really sure if you're gonna be able to create a system that'll work for you. You might wanna spend your, save your money. But these go on sale so frequently. Erin Condren does like percentages off the entire site like not once a month, but maybe almost once a month. And with Black Friday right around the corner, as I'm filming this right now, is the end of October. So Black Friday is right around the corner. Uh, I would wait until Black Friday. Usually they're pretty good deals. And then, um, you know, get it for maybe not half the price, but maybe instead of paying, paying $60, maybe you're paying 40. And that might be the best way to start out. She does frequently have sales. 
Um, I say she, Erin Condren is actually not the company anymore. So Erin Condren is the company. So they, they frequently have sales. They also um, have a reward system. They also have uh, coupons. Every time you buy a life planner, you receive two 20% off coupons that you can use on a future purchase. They do, however, expire before the launch of next year's life planner. So if you think, oh, I'll save that for my next year's purchase, no, they will expire before that launch. Um, yeah, so whether or not these are worth it for you, for your system, for your productivity tools, like that's really entirely up to you. Um, obviously, I like them, but I admit that they are pretty costly. <laughs> so um, let me know what you think. Are you an EC person? Do you like shopping at Erin Condren or are you... Um, not not into spending that much money or what planner system to use let me know in the comments if you like this video please like um subscribe and i'll see you at the next one thank you